the indigenous poet gets requests for poems about being indigenous, but all my poems are about being indigenous. Well, for the first time ever, Washington State's Poet Laureate is Native American. Rena Priest was already an award-winning poet before Governor Jay Inslee selected her last spring as the state's sixth Poet Laureate. But the selection of the Lummi Tribal member has significantly raised her profile. Kara Seven's Deborah Horn is back, and she introduces us to her as Western Washington gets real. Beyond these walls on the Lummi Indian Reservation west of Bellingham, history is being made. A native daughter, her arms linked with the sisters of the grandmother for whom she was named center stage at this passing of the laurel ceremony courtesy of Humanities Washington, Arts Wa, and the Lummi Nation, formally assuming her role as Washington State Poet Laureate. How did you get the news that you had been chosen as Washington State's Poet Laureate? Oh, so I was actually on my way to Seattle with my husband. None before has been indigenous to this land. And they called, and I was so excited. Rena Priest speaks softly, but the sometimes reluctant poet's way with words has taken her far from the shores of the Lummi Reservation. She earned a master's degree in fine arts from Sarah Lawrence College in Yonkers, New York, in 2008. But this place drew her back home. My daughter and I were here for a visit and she was still pretty little, and she turned over a rock and she saw the little crabs scuttling away, and she was like, oh my God, mommy, mommy, and she just kind of freaked out, and I was like, oh, she's not getting to have all of these really cool experiences that I had as a child. Here is where much of her poetry is found, too. The glimmer. From darkness, the idea of self, blood, water, a soul, a body, a brief victory over death by making breath. Below the waves. This, she unheard, says, fulfills a deep world. need. A need to express um, or work through my own thinking about a particular subject, yeah. And poems help you do that? I think so. It feels like you're putting order on something. The indigenous poet says, and writes about daffodils and the untouchable beauty of living a poet's life. Being the state's first indigenous poet laureate has not come without some costs. Priest had to give up her day job here on the reservation just two years before she would have qualified for full college loan forgiveness. A measure, perhaps, of a life devoted to poetry, the sacrifices and the joys inextricably linked. There have been many times when I've wondered why I do this work, and there have been many, many more where I feel lucky beyond words to have poetry in my life. Now Priest is working to take her poetry to the state's 29 federally recognized Indian tribes. Below the waves, even the unheard, unseen we world We're all sings. enchanted and enchanting Sunshine, shine, water home. and birds. We're still song. at dawn, the people wake, face east and sing. A testament to the power of words. Weld our memories to breath. This time, writing a new moment. history. On the Lummi Reservation, Deborah Horn, Cairo 7 News. Boy, the poetry behind the poetry. Rena Priest is not the first person of color to be named the state's poet laureate. That distinction belongs to Claudia Castro Luna, a Salvadorian American poet and adjunct professor at Seattle University. Priest's term runs through April of 2023.